Okay, welcome back everyone. We're uh, playing the RAR pack today. I was having uh, some issues with uh, Java and Minecraft not working here, so I apologize if there's any uh, any trouble here, but I was also having my my video recording software have, was having some trouble actually watching the right scene, so uh, hopefully we don't have any more of that. But I have built myself some more furnaces, as you can see here, and uh, made myself some eggs because I've been starving. Um, but our main goal today is going to be to set up an aqueous accumulator in here, uh, put a steam dynamo on top of that, and then build ourselves a pulverizer so that we can start making bronze in a bit of a better fashion. Uh, since I have the stuff here, I'll go ahead and show you. Right now, you can use one tin ingot and three copper ingots to make one bronze. Only one bronze. It's very, very inefficient. So what we're going to do instead is make ourselves some of the things that we need to uh, to make them more efficiently. Uh, we're going to need two machine frames, which are made like this, and the aqueous accumulator Thank you. is made with some extra glass and tin, pneumatic servo, and a bucket. We have one bucket. Uh, we will end up needing to make more later, but we'll get to that. Uh, put a couple of these guys in here, and I always make this wrong. Glass goes on the sides. Um, we'll put our tin here and here. We have the machine block, this, and glass is the other one we need. Okay, so we'll go ahead and set this up first. As long as you have water source blocks near it, it fills up on its own and it automatically outputs up. So it will fill up with water on its own, and it's more than enough to power a steam dynamo or two. So that's the next thing we're going to do, and in order to do that, we need ourselves some gears. And we need to turn those into stone gears. And then we need to turn those into copper gears. Okay, let's go ahead and look that up so I... Oops. Okay, so we need some more copper ingots, some redstone, and a transmission coil, which is made with silver. So I'll need to get myself a silver ingot as well. Luckily, I do have a couple here, and I don't want to melt all of these down, considering I only need one. So I'm just going to use a plank to get that. And in the meantime, let's go ahead and get the other things that we need here, which was just redstone. We have everything else that we need, so we have all that. We'll get this guy out, and that's the redstone. Got our transmission coil, boom, and voila. Okay, so that guy just goes on top of there, and then you can see it automatically fills up with water. And then the last thing that we need to make is the pulverizer. I think I have everything I need for the pulverizer. I'll double check here. I should have flint and copper. Uh, the reception coil, I do have gold. Let's see. Oh, yeah. And I did also get all of the requirements that I would need to make a piston, which is what goes on top. So let me go ahead and make that. This, this, this. Copper again, and two flint, and pulverizer hoe. Okay, so steam dynamo is pretty simple. All you do is throw some. Uh, hole in there, and it goes ahead and powers this stuff up. And then what we're going to do is uh, toss our tin in here. And this turns it into two uh, tin dust. The sturdy grinder, which is the bronze macerator more or less, uh, turns it into a single dirty pile of uh, dirty pile of tin ore. When you smelt that, it gives you 10 nuggets instead of 9 nuggets, so it is a little bit more efficient, but you still only get one, so it, compared to the pulverizer, uh, the pulverizer is terribly inefficient. So we're going to use the pulverizer instead for the time being. And we're going to get, and you also see that it changes after you put it back into your inventory into the Greg Tech stuff. It originally came out as uh, thermal expansion things. Um, the other thing that we're going to do, this area down here, 
was originally um, yeah, a, a, a cave system here that I happened upon. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and kill some of the zombies and light some stuff up in here because it's really annoying to have them sitting around here. Uh, let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to find all these spiders because it sounds like they are just playing everywhere. But I don't know where any of them actually are. Okay, there's one over here. Oh, there's one. I'll light this area up a little bit so that they don't spawn right next to me at least. And there you go. Okay. And here's a little bit more. Hopefully they'll at least prevent them from spawning constantly down here. And one more. On the plus side, I haven't died in a little while, not the wood. Um, but it does make it so that I have plenty of experience lying around. So if I ever get into the 40 plus mod, I'll actually be able to use that to get some uh, some better stuff on my on my quarry pluses. Okay. So now we get three bronze dust with every one of those instead of just one bronze ingot if it was the right other way around. So it's much more efficient to do it this way right off the bat. So now we have 12 bronze dust. Very helpful. And we'll go ahead and jump right into building ourselves a uh, steam steam boiler. Uh, I believe. Not called steam boiler. Boiler. There we go. Small cold boiler, that's what it is. Okay, so we need to get ourselves some bricks, furnace, a wrench, and plenty of bronze plates, but luckily we have enough bronze in the furnace now to actually go ahead and make that. So the main goal we need to get to now is some clay, which I have a very easy way of getting instead of going out and actually searching for clay. Now there is probably some clay out there somewhere which I can find, but I'm going to do it the ex nihilo way, so that I don't actually have to use any of that until uh, it's absolutely necessary. Now the other thing I need to do is get a little bit more iron, because I need to make another... Um, I need to make another bucket, because I had to use the other one to make all of our other cool toys. So, there's some more. Empty here. There we go. Toss all those in there. And toss one of these in here to get that started again. And we're going to toss the rest of the copper in here. Um, so, yeah. The small coal boiler basically just produces steam once it gets up to enough heat, and you simply fill it with. Uh, with coal. And we're going to go and put all of the Greg Tech stuff in here after I close this up because my luck someone will come in here to attack me. And uh, I really don't want to keep blowing up my stuff. My uh, other world that I had originally created actually had uh, a bit of a mishap uh, not too long ago wherein I destroyed some very expensive machines because I wasn't paying attention. So I've been playing this one constantly instead of playing both of them. So I'm kind of starting from scratch again, but that's okay because I do kind of like the, uh, the 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 fight to to get the cool stuff. And grab that, and we're gonna get that so we have some water because I needed that in order to make our clay. I almost forgot what it was for, but then I remembered. Okay. Um, here, please. Okay. 
Now we can put water in here, and then dust turns into clay. So there's one, and two. And then we can take these guys, chop them up, and toss them in here, and that can make us the bricks that we need. And the only thing that we need is a wrench, which we can make out of pretty much anything that we want. Um, I don't want to use bronze, and I don't quite have enough iron, so we'll go ahead and make a few more pieces of iron here. I'll make a little bit of extra copper, which would be nice. Uh, put this in here, and we'll get out one, two, three, three, no, just two, two coppers as well, and we'll make ourselves some extra bronze. Um, and we'll go ahead and throw these guys in here. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get it started. I think I can get it in time. I always try to be as efficient as possible when using my coal just because it's not a, uh, a, a super renewable resource unless you have magic crops going full swing. And I, uh, I tend to not mine it after a little while because I always forget that it is as useful as it is. So I like to uh, make sure I don't accidentally you know, use a whole coal to just do ugh, to just smelt a single thing. I, I always hate wasting it that much. Okie dokie. Now we have those. Bam. Uh, we should have some more iron that we can toss in here. We only need to make a few more pieces of iron, I think, right? One, two, three. Yeah, we'll need three more pieces of iron. And this will give us all the bronze that we need. And then all we need is the wrench. So we're going to finish this up. Uh, the iron wrench, uh, it has enough uses to get you by. Um, it's like everything else that's made of iron for Greg Tech. It's all uh, 128 uses. Uh, obviously, the iron pickaxe is more than 128 uses, but all of the tools that you need to build things have 128. So that's how you make that. It's just a, uh, well, a wrench shape. Uh, let me put those guys across there. Bricks and bricks. And what I feel like I forget is something. I'm pretty sure I need a furnace, don't I? Yep, forgot that. Okie dokie. So we'll put this in here instead. Bam, bam. And done so. Okay. So we'll go ahead and Tell you what we do. We'll put him right over here. And then what we're going to do is. Make sure there's something else in here we need to get. And then I want to. Yep. Make some fluid ducts instead. Now we're going to need some of those, and then we'll go ahead and need some lead. Lead rapidly becomes way too useful, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw a piece in here, I guess. I can't remember if one of those is enough or not. It might not be. Oh, so close. How annoying. Okay, so flu duct's just made with lead and copper. And what we're going to do is use the flu ducts to go here and here. That should still fill it up with water, as it does. And then we're going to go bam, bam. And actually, I guess we can change this to just go down there. Now, I always got to be careful and actually use the wrench to take these things back. Because they can break and not actually give you back the right thing. I don't know how it works with bronze stuff, but, you know, general rule of thumb is to just do that. You see it fills up with water here, and then you put coal in here, it'll change it into uh, dark ashes once it's done, and you can actually use that for other stuff, including kind of making some coal fibers later. And then this will fill up with steam, and this will fill up with heat. The heat has to come up to around here, I think, before it starts producing steam, but as long as you keep it at that rate, it will continue to produce steam. But before we make that... <laughs> we need to have somewhere for the steam to go. So, 
I'm going to go ahead and make this real quick. I need the crescent hammer in order to operate on these uh, pieces here. I'm going to go ahead and change that to an out. I don't think I have to power that, but we'll find out. And then the other thing we're going to do is let's go and make our extractor because that is one thing that only it can do. So we need the bronze plates, uh, two pistons, a brass, bronze, or iron machine hull, and a bronze wrench. Let's see what we got. We have enough bronze to go ahead and make that. Um, we do need five bronze plates again, though, and we also need uh, what looks like our limiting factor now is going to be wood. So let's go ahead and grab some of that since we are sitting in the middle of a, uh, oh, a dark jungle. Let's sleep first, make ourselves an axe, and then we'll go out and do that. So we'll get some wood, make ourselves a couple of pistons. Go ahead and make our extractor, and then I do have some sticky resin already that we can go ahead and uh, put to use. So, no. getting ahead of myself here, I need to go ahead and make this. And one thing that I didn't do in my other uh, my other game that I probably should is go ahead and make a saw so that the logs are a little bit more efficiently used. Because this whole two sticks for every log and two logs for every uh, two planks for every log is. Uh, Kind of a major letdown. So let's just sneak in here. Now oh, look at that, some wood. Chop this guy down. Wasn't really much to him, huh? Like I said, I will eventually get into some uh, inventory management. I, I promise. I, I'm just in a uh, in a hurry to actually get some some cool stuff going because I know most of what we've been doing so far has been very uh, very vanilla Minecrafty, and we've been uh, talking about doing mods, and we just haven't been doing enough of that. I don't think so. Uh, let's go ahead and make one, two, three, four, five plates. Toss this, 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 and this in there. And then we need to make the pistons. Right, we have our two iron, perfect amount. And the pistons are done. And then we need uh, the hull and the steel wrench. So we need either the uh Iron or bronze, we don't have enough bronze, uh, so we'll go ahead and make it out of iron, I guess. Do I have the iron on me? Why do I not see it? There it is. I'm sorry I'm blind sometimes. It can't be helped, apparently. I, I do try. Okay. One, two. Okay. And then steam will come out of there and into our extractor. And the main thing that I want to do is make the extractor so that I can show you one of the uh, one of the interesting things about it that I did not know about right off the bat that, uh, that, that very much frustrated me. But now that I know how it works, it's actually kind of clever. Um, and that is the exhaust ports. Um, all of the steam machines have to exhaust their steam somewhere, and there is a port that you can change the uh, location of on the machine with the iron wrench. I thought that it was an input-output area for resources or for steam, uh, but turns out I was moving it into a pipe, and then that pipe was blocking the exhaust. So there was nowhere for the exhaust to go. It would only do one thing at a time. Now, once I figured that out, and it was actually uh, expelling the steam afterwards, I made most of them come straight out at the top, uh, then it worked no problem, and that was uh, a beautiful thing. So that's actually how it's supposed to be done. And now that I know that, it uh, makes life a little bit easier. I'm going to toss these guys up here instead. And I'm going to toss this. And this in here. OK, all those things go. I'm going to go ahead and see what we need to do in order to make a saw. Uh, let's 
let's see, a stone saw, that's not what we want. There should be, there we go, an iron saw for sawing locks in the planks. Okay, so you need iron plates, the iron file, tungsten, or some kind of hammer, and then four sticks. So it doesn't have a whole lot of use. The bronze is actually twice as useful, and we have enough to make that. So why don't we go ahead and do that instead while we wait here. To make the two of those, we need four of those. Put those there. Oops. Put those there, and then that, and that, I think. Okay. Now, let's see what happens here. We put it in there like that. Ah, uh, look at that. That's what's up. All right. Now we're in good shape. That'll be a little bit easier to uh, get the things that we need here. Uh, I may end up running out of uses on the iron hammer while I'm doing this. I don't think so, but I could. So if I do, we might have to make another one, but hopefully we won't, and I'll be able to get along with what I have here. Yeah, there are some pretty cool uh, things in Greg Tech that you can make, though. This is one of the things that I'd like to get into just because it's uh, very high efficiency. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. One away. Okay, well... <laughs> that's super frustrating. Um, that's okay, though. We can make it work. Toss another one of those in there. We don't need a lot of iron. We only need four more, and we'll go ahead and make our next one. Uh, you and you. Toss those guys up there. Uh, how infuriating, you know? That is the one problem with these hammers, though. You can make uh, automatic hammering things. Um, there's actually a... Uh, uh, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, right here. The steam-powered forge hammer. Uh, I don't know how efficient it is, but you can use steam to turn ingots into place instead of having to continually make new hammers. Uh, it, it is a little costly to make, apparently, but it can be done. So uh, that might be something that I look into doing here, too, so that we don't have to worry about constantly running out of hammers, because that is a, a major bummer. Wait until this changes, which it should. There we go. Toss those in there. That's enough of that. Use this up, that way we have another spot in our inventory. And then make our... last iron plate, and then what we have to do in order to make the iron machine hull is that. And you get your basic machine casing. Okay, so this guy goes there, there, and there. Uh, the two pistons, and what am I forgetting? Let's go back to extractor. Uh, oh, that way. What happened there? Okay, there, there, and then that, right? There we go, squeezing extractor. Okay. So you pop this right here, and then what you need to do, I think if we get rid of that, you might be able to find it here. I think it might initially show up on the back, but if you click there, this port right here has to be facing an open area. So that's how that works. So I'm going to go and toss this in here. Now these Greg Tech machines also make a heck of a lot of noise too, so you'll notice that. Um, but it also lets you know when it's starting, so that's, you know, depending on how you view it, it's a good thing. Um, so yeah, that's kind of going to be where we, uh, where we stop for today. Uh, as soon as I make sure that this actually works, we'll, uh, we'll call it there. And then maybe uh, off camera, I'll do a little bit of work making the uh, the forge hammer. Um, yeah, the bronze gear you can make. There we go. You can make with a wrench four bronze plates and four bronze rods. So you need in order in order to make it, you need eight. And then I think this is another four, so twelve for each bronze ingot and you, or for each bronze gear, and you need two of them plus the plates, plus the machine block, the piston, and the wrench. So what I'll probably do is try to make a lot of bronze off camera, and then we'll go ahead and do that next time. 
and we'll see how efficient that is, uh, but the electric tools are a little bit more efficient. Uh, the other thing that we'll look into making is the, uh, the alloy smelter, the bronze version anyway. Uh, where is it? Uh, smelter. There it is. Okay, yeah, the steam smelter uh, needs two steam furnaces, bricks, bronze plates, and this stuff needs, you know, a lot of bronze and stuff too, so fairly expensive, but that'll probably be the next two things that we do next time, and uh, after we're done with that, no, perhaps that isn't what we need. Oop, that's not what I wanted to do at all. And... That's super frustrating. Okay, so maybe next time we'll go ahead and get this figured out. Oh, never mind, there's a little bit of steam in there. We just need enough. So it was working, it just needs the amount. So, at any rate, that's what we'll do next time. Got myself another couple of these. Oh, and now you can hear it. Or at least you should be able to. And there it goes. It'll change this into uh, three, I think it's rubber pulp or something. It's not actually the uh, little balls of rubber that you're used to in IC2. Uh, they change that around a little bit, but you can smelt it down again into that if you want. So it does take a little while to finish, but the uh, the electric machines are better, and the electric machines can be upgraded. So you know it's kind of slow starting, but you get into it. So our steam extractor's almost finished. Our first one here, and then once it's done, you'll see some steam rise out of here, and you'll hear it just like that. And then that means that it was able to lose the steam, and then you get this rubber pulp out of it. So now it's just waiting for enough steam to build up here so that it can send the next one out. Uh, you can see like the, the heat is up here, but there's no steam in there. That's because it's in the process of moving into here right now. So I think that should be good. What I may do is actually go ahead and put a... Uh, how can we just do that just to make sure? Now we know that it's actually pulling the steam out for sure. Okay. But yeah, so that's what that does. So, yeah, next time we'll go ahead and get a couple machines built. I'll make sure that I have all the resources for it off the bat. That way we can go ahead straight into building it. And uh, maybe next time we'll look at getting some magical crop fields set up too, because that'll be a cool thing for us to have. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, as always, leave a like or a comment, and uh, let me know if there's any other mods that you want me to uh, install in here, or if there are mods that you know that I have installed. Uh, which you might want me to take a closer look at later and maybe do like a bit of a spotlight on those instead. Feel free to let me know. Bye.